Hey everyone, here with a bit of a late night video for you guys. I'm going to have a few videos preloaded here over the next uh, few days. Uh, I am traveling over the weekend. We're, we're starting our vacation and all of that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have, have you know, a video going up on Saturday and Sunday and I think Monday and Tuesday as well. But all these videos will be pre-made. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of voiceover gameplay and all of that coming up. We do plan to do a single live stream. Yes, one live stream uh, while we are on vacation. So you can look forward uh, to that happening next week. But until then, let's talk about this news today because I feel like this is relevant in the conversation around Steam Deck. On this channel, you know, we obviously cover a lot of Switch. I obviously have bias towards Nintendo. But I'm, I play everything. And the Steam Deck has been in this interesting place for me where it competes with Switch, but then it doesn't really compete with Switch. It's more so a companion for people who play games on PC. Obviously, it's probably going to be an emulation beast. I see no reason this thing isn't going to be able to emulate practically everything up through switch although we'll see with playstation 3 and xbox 360 those emulators are really hit and miss on different types of hardware so let's see what happens here but today valve confirmed that steam deck uh can basically run any game on pc but the target for their games the target for games in general on this device is 30 fps which, if you're a PC gamer, I'm a PC gamer, that's oh, a bit of a red flag. But we'll get into it in a moment. Uh, I want to announce we are giving away a Switch OLED, by the way, if you would like to win one. Literally, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. So I'm reading this article on WCCF Tech, and we're going to go over this. The title says, Steam Deck Targeting 30 FPS. Valve hasn't found any games it couldn't handle. So it says, last week Valve announced the Steam Deck, their portable Zen 2 powered gaming PC that they promised will be able to run most games at 1280 by 800. Although resolution do really doesn't mean that much on its own if you don't know what type of performance the machine is targeting. Well, Valve recently let out a few more details about the Steam Deck slip in a recent interview with IGN. And those hoping for glorious 60 FPS or unlocked portable gameplay are in for disappointment. According to Steam Deck developer Pierre Loup Grifoas, achieving 30 FPS in games is their target. And this is thanks to PC Gamer for a transcription. It says, if people are still valuing high frame rates and high resolutions on other platforms, I think that the content will scale down to our 800p 30 hertz target really well. If people are start heavily favoring image quality, we might be in position where we might have trade-offs, but we haven't really seen that yet. 800p is obviously not a big deal to people. That's native resolution. You're playing on a small 7-inch screen. I've also said this before for Nintendo Switch. That's why the 720p isn't really that big of a deal for the size screen it is. I know our phones, plenty of phones are 4K, but I get it. Uh, but it's not really that big of a deal at that size. But the 30 FPS target is kind of a bummer. Obviously, the Steam Deck is a PC, so some games will run better than that. But I imagine that what you'll be looking at for many newer games. Speaking of which, according to Griffiths, Valve has tested numerous recent Steam games on the deck, and they haven't found any that couldn't hit that 30 FPS target. This is the first time we've achieved the level of performance that is required to really run the latest generation of games without problems. All the games we wanted to be playable is really the entire Steam library. We haven't really found something we could throw at this device that it couldn't handle. For those who haven't been keeping up, the Steam Deck runs a custom AMD Van Gogh APU with Zen 2 GPU, RDNA 2 GPU cores, cost between $400 and $650, depending on what storage you opt in for. All that jazz. The, the, the It starts be shipping in December, um, and it's back ordered deep into 2022. So here's the thing. What do we learn here? We learn uh, something very interesting here, that their internal target is that every game needs to hit 30 FPS. Some games are going to obviously run at 60. I mean, we can't ignore this. Some games will run at 60. I'll, I, I would venture to guess pretty much every indie game is going to run at 60. A lot of older games, you know, from, from 3, 4, 5, 6 plus years ago, all those games are probably going to hit 60 FPS as well. But what he's basically saying is that newer releases, ones that are demanding, ones that are um, trying to impress you visually, which is basically modern AAA gaming in a nutshell, uh, are not 
hitting 60 fps on this thing at 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 800p or 720p whatever it's hitting 30 fps uh and i feel like we need to keep in mind when we talk about the steam deck a, a number of things and i i think one thing that goes untalked about because guys this is significantly more powerful than switch no doubt but would i be surprised if like when the new assassin's creed comes out on pc uh and that you know obviously is going to be instantly playable on steam deck because steam deck is a pc uh that it might factually look worse than breath of the wild 2 at 30 fps on significantly worse hardware i wouldn't say i'd be shocked but here is why i wouldn't be shocked again something that is being overlooked by a lot of people excited for this device nothing is being optimized for steam deck i want to be clear steam deck is using what we term in the pc gaming industry on board graphics onboard graphics have made leaps and bounds right and the latest gpu tech using rdna2 is going to be in the new apu onboard graphics that are going to be coming in low budget um you know low-end gaming laptops and valve themselves is basically saying that this that they, they've essentially come out and said themselves that this is a low budget gaming laptop in your hands well low budget gaming laptops really struggle to run games even on low settings at 60 fps it just doesn't really happen it's one of the um things you trade off for for buying a 400 dollars or really 500 is more so the entry point for the real low end um you know laptops that you would consider gaming capable that at least have a gaming capable um e e either a separate gpu or at least a um integrated gpu that is gaming capable is around 500 dollars and like that doesn't run games well uh, now, granted, this is a newer GPU tech architecture that is not currently available in any gaming laptops at this point, but it kind of underscores the fact that if Valve themselves is saying, hey, when we throw new, you know, newer games at this, new, uh, you know, current releases, upcoming releases at this thing, it hits 30 FPS, that's not impressive. Uh, that's not... Uh, it, 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 it's showing the one limitation of this platform is that nothing on PC is optimized for this hardware. See, what happens with Switch is if you want to bring your game to Switch, you need to optimize your game to run on that platform. Some optimizations are better than others, but you need to optimize the game specifically for that target of hardware to release on it. This is an open platform. Because it's just a laptop in a different form, right? Let's just call this what it is. This is a laptop in a different form. And because of that, it's just going to run the same games that release on everything else. So any sort of high-end AAA release is not going to run very well on this thing. Will it hit 30 FPS? Absolutely. Will it be a solid 30 FPS? Probably. Although they did note, by the way, that some of the most graphically intense future games that come out might struggle to hit 30 fps they're basically admitting hey you know um when we get some big triple a pc uh game coming here in the next year or two it's possible that it doesn't even hit 30 fps on this at 800p like they're at, they're just admitting openly hey look everything we throw at it now is but we can't really rule out the fact that hey games coming in the future you know you know a year or two years from now they might not even run at 30 fps on this um and again we there, there's so many considerations here i'm not trying to put the steam deck down the steam deck is great but it has the problem that every low-end laptop has and that's that games aren't optimized for the low end they're optimized for essentially PC games. For those who know PC game development, they they generally target the largest market um, of hardware for PC, which is essentially middle of the road gaming computers, right? Middle of the road computers, ones that have 
dedicated GPUs, not onboard graphic GPUs, ones that are, um, you know, basically cost about at least, you know, at MSRP, if you can get it at MSRP, around $800 to build, $800 to 1000 bucks. that, you know, you, you know, you get like a $1,200 laptop, something like that. That's kind of sort of what they are targeting. Uh, if you look at just you know, the, the, the most common resolutions and GPUs on Steam, yeah, they're older, but they're... <laughs> They're, 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 I, I just want this to be clear to people. I know it feels like I'm shitting on the Steam Deck. If you're excited for this device, be excited. I'm just trying to set the expectations realistically. And that is what Valve is doing here. If people value high frame rates and resolution of the platforms, current content will scale down to 800p at 30 hertz really well. But if future games start heavily favoring image quality... Yeah, there's going to be some trade-offs, and at some point we might not hit 30 FPS. Like they're telling you right now, this machine is just hitting 30 FPS with some of the most demanding games. And what do you think the settings of those demanding games are set at? Do you think they're saying, "Oh, it's hitting 30 FPS, running on high settings"? No, <laughs> no, they're they're going in there and saying, "Look, when we put the most demanding game on here and we set it to the low settings, it hits 30 FPS. That's acceptable to us." And every game that comes to the platform is going to run and hit at least 30 FPS. I, I'm sorry. I'm not excited by that. And by the way, I'm not sitting here touting Switch over this device. I want to be clear here. Switch struggles to hit 30 FPS in some games. We see it in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which, by the way, is a Warriors game issue. That Warriors has FPS issues on, like, everything. It's, it's dumb. I don't know why they haven't overhauled this engine. Or at least, get, like, try it a different engine. How about a brand new engine for Warriors games, Team Ninja? Come on, man. It's time to get off this ancient hardware. Or this ancient, not hardware, I guess, ancient, you know, iteration of um, game developing you're doing for Warriors games. But we've seen it. Nintendo, some Nintendo games have struggled to hit 30. We've obviously seen many Nintendo games struggle to hit 60. So, like, we know, right? Switch is weak. It's weak as hell in 2021. We know it. I think Nintendo's making a mistake with the Switch OLED not having it be more powerful. We all know the Switch is weak. But we play for the games, right? The whole reason that we buy hardware is for the games. So the big thing that Steam Deck obviously is always going to have going for it is it has a massive library of games that is going to be bigger than any platform in existence. One, because literally you can emulate you know, everything up through Switch. Number two, um, yeah, you have the entire PC gaming library going back to the beginning of PC gaming. So there's obviously a massive library to draw on for this device. And that is an advantage for a Steam Deck. And that could be, you know, if you're just someone who plays older games, you know, this could be fine. This, this could be absolutely fine for you if you're someone who just plays older games. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. This is just me spitballing to the wind here. Switch, obviously, um, you know, its only advantage, you know, is that, hey, it has exclusive games built for the platform uh that's cool uh and you can't get those games you know necessarily in the best form on pc i'm actually going to be curious um i've seen some of the comparable like the aya neo as an example i've seen it run switch emulators uh and while it runs a switch emulator fine and it plays switch games i haven't seen those switch games really necessarily running at 60 fps um, I could be wrong on that front, but from what I have seen of videos of it, the Switch games aren't hitting 60 FPS, which, you know, is what it is. All I know is this hardware is nice, but the mitigating factor is that nothing is going to be made specifically for it. And because of that, it's always going to suffer at getting the low end of the stick. This device is way more capable than 30 FPS in the latest AAA games. If companies want to optimize for it, but they won't because it's a PC and it's open architecture on an open platform. So because of that, it's never going to be optimized for it. The one advantage of consoles is things are always optimized for that specific hardware on that device. Sometimes they're poorly optimized, but they are optimized. On PC, it's a crapshoot. Some hardware is just going to run things better than others. It is what it is. This hardware is going to run AAA games at 30 FPS. And for some people, that's going to be fine. For me as a PC gamer, dude, the whole reason I PC game is to get higher FPS. So this thing already didn't really interest me much at 60 hertz, let alone 
let alone running like modern games at 30. Um, I, I get it. Those 400 bucks. What do you expect for 400? Right. Just be happy. It runs everything. I guess at that price point. Um, but I mean, games are going to look better on Xbox series X and PlayStation five. Just a fact. It's going to look better. There are more powerful platforms, similar pricing. Can't take them on the go though. That is a huge advantage. It's the advantage switch has, and it's going to be advantage of this. What the market is for this, I don't know. I think maybe, again, they're just trying to get people who weren't into PC gaming into PC gaming. I think there's a big market they could tap into by doing that, by making PC gaming accessible. But I'm very curious. If you are a current PC gamer that that plays a lot of modern titles, are you interested in this device? Now that you know, your modern title might run at low settings at 30 FPS. Are you interested still in the Steam Deck? And if you are, cool. I get why you are. Play your game anywhere. Well, 30 FPS is still better than 0 FPS, like not being able to play it on the go. Totally can understand that argument. But I'm just curious. As a PC gamer myself, I ain't really interested in going below 60. That's the whole reason I am a PC gamer. So I know everything that I run on my PC is going to be over 60 FPS. Anyways, folks... I am Nathaniel Robo Jazz from the Center Prime. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.